and we call it the iPad. Let me show it to you now. This is what it looks like. I happen to have one right here. That's what it looks like. Very thin. It's just like this. Hello, everyone. Welcome to My Life is a Mess, part seven. It's never gonna end. My sadness is eternal. Anyway, what did, what, uh, what did you do when you were a child? No. You wanna see what I did? I had one of these. That was cool. This is an iPod fourth gen. These things are poopy now, but hey, back in the day, these were the diamonds. These were the diamonds to my Minecraft. All right. These were the, <laughs> these were the fort to my night. This thing was like having a phone without actually having a phone. All right, you had all your apps. You had all your contacts. You could hit up your friends. You could be like, yo, follow me to the jungle gyms, three o'clock. We're gonna trade Pokemon cards. This iPod is not mine. Neither is this one. This, is, this isn't an iPod at all. On January 27th, 2010, when I was a wee lad of nine years old, going to be 10 years old, Bill Gates' evil twin went on stage and showed us this puppy. The big iPod. Because that's literally what this is. But nonetheless, after watching, watching yourself read the title of this video, you're probably like, bro, why did he subject himself to a week of pain using this? And let me tell you, I don't know why, okay? but I'm gonna tell you why. And I'm going to tell you my experiences because honestly, using this thing is not quite as bad as you actually think that it is, but it's also worse than you think it is. <laughs> Before we get to that, let's tell you the specs of the OG iPad, the big boy. All right, so, Pretty much exactly the same as its successor, the iPad 6th gen. This thing diagonally is 9.7 inches, width of 7.47 inches, and a depth of a half an inch. Very thin. Please don't touch that. Stop, stop it. Stop! You're ruining the Wi-Fi version of the iPad, the first one, weighs about a pound and a half, whereas this one, I actually have the cellular version, is 0.10 pounds heavier than that. So 1.6 pounds, hell yeah. A chunky boy for a chunky man. The resolution of this bad boy is 1024 by 768, a beautiful resolution for this big, thick screen, uh, which is about 138, 32, 132 pixels per inch. This big boy comes with Wi-Fi, Bluetooth 2.1, and for the cellular versions, it supports UMTS and GSM. So, no CDMA, but UMTS is the closest you're gonna get, so take what you can get, all right? Don't go to the Apple store almost 10 years ago and be like, I want CD, I wanna call my friends on CDMA network with my iPad. Steve Jobs is gonna look at you and be like, no, no, no. You get this one and you just have to say, okay. All right. This iPad came in three iterations, uh, also respective for its cellular version. 1632 and this one in particular is the 64. Um, the 16 gigabyte version was 499 and then 629 for the cellular. Uh, the 32 gigabyte was 599 and 729 and the 64 gigabyte was 699, and this one in particular was 829 for the cellular. This guy is running a one gigahertz Apple A4 chip. No, no A12X Bionic for this bad boy. Very big bad. Gotta love your ARM processors for that one. And why in the hell did I start using this in the first place? Well, believe it or not, uh, I was actually cleaning out my desk and I found this thing at the bottom of one of my drawers 
and the cable that I already had for it was all frayed and bad and poopy, which is not a surprise. It's Apple. They always do that. Anyway, so I ran to my nearest Best Buy and I yoinked, um, I yoinked a 30 pin connector. It is 30 pin by the way, it's not 32 pin. <laughs> $17.99. It's quite expensive, and I don't know why I did it, but I did it. Because I was like, why the heck not, right? So, <clears throat> this bad boy is running iOS 5.1.1. I actually have it silenced. I don't know why that is. And this one in particular, yes, my iPad is jailbroken because I'm one of the cool kids. Hear that, Echo Smith? One of the cool kids. Running iOS 5.1.1. Um, which means downloading apps is a big pain in the butt, okay? But of course, I'm not gonna do anything nuts on here, uh, and this was not my only daily driver, because if that were the case, I probably would have committed suicide before the uh, week had finished. So, for the main apps, uh, social media, YouTube, and also iMessage were the main things that I used. Um, Facebook and Twitter, both worked fine. Uh, obviously, pretty outdated versions of using them. They look quite dated, uh, but they work nonetheless. Um, Netflix sort of works in both iterations of YouTube. The new one uh, that you can download from the App Store and the old one that came with the iPad, neither of them are work. Are work. Neither of them are work. Neither of them will work. Um, to actually get onto YouTube, you have you will have to go through Safari, which is. <clears throat> Do I need to say what Safari is? I don't think I need to say what Safari is. iMessage. Um, basically, it was the same as texting, except more annoying because the screen's bigger, even though my hands are still giant. Um, but hey, who cares? All the bubbles are blue, so all of my friends will be happy. Um, another thing that caught me. By surprise, really, is the battery life, even for this device that's almost 10 years old, is actually phenomenal. Um, the battery life on this thing, even though it's almost 10 years old, is actually phenomenal. Um, I actually charged this thing all the way and I just kind of let it drain for a good three days. I had not even plugged it in, and when I went to go check it, it was actually at 59%, which is awesome, really. Um, Wait, so you like products? No. I mean, nonetheless, this thing was a pain in the ass to use. Uh, if you want to download any apps, most of them uh, are not compatible with 5.1.1 because, of course, the most recent version of iOS, I believe, is 12.2, if you want to fact check me on that one. Um, <clears throat> However, the App Store does allow you to download the most recent version of the app, or I'm sorry, the most compatible version of the app that you're trying to download. Um, so I did that with a couple of them. Of course, Facebook and Twitter and blah, 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 and yada, yada, yada. But I also, and like, why the heck am I not going to? Your boy got Minecraft on his iPad. I would not recommend this. Don't game on your 10-year-old iPad. It will be the worst experience of your life. And no Fortnite for you either. So, I would not recommend using one of these. Uh, all the uses that I could pretty much think of is have this be like a burner tablet. Um, maybe download videos on it. This thing does have 64 gigabytes. I do have the 64 gig version. Um, Download videos, maybe you can watch them when you go on vacation if you don't want to bring a more expensive device with you. Uh, give it to the kids to play with, although make sure it's not cracked, because while using this, I have had shards of glass fall onto me, and I don't think I'm going to waste the time to actually... I, think, I don't think I'm actually going to waste the time to replace the screen on this, uh, even though I'm sure it would be pretty inexpensive. But, no, I found, I found uh, digitizers and screens for like 20 bucks. It's not bad, actually. Anyway, don't use your iPad as a daily driver. You will drive yourself nuts. Um, but it was a very interesting experience, and it was definitely a blast from the past for me because I'm... Actually, no. 
because this came out half of my age ago, which was, that was cool. Anyway guys, um, this was a pretty quick video. I just thought it was cool that I got this thing to work. I didn't expect it to work. Um, and I did use it. I actually do use it. I probably will continue to use it because my friends really like the blue bubble. No, I'm not kidding. I will actually use this just for iMessage though. Nothing else. Even though iMessage on like the old iMessage kind of is poopy. Um, just for the blue bubble. That's all they want. Anyway, have good days, everyone. Have better, day have better days than me. This was gross.